Blue Beetle. That trailer dropped. Blue Beetle coming out August 18th of this year. This is by far, for me, the character of whom I know the least about. And I'm a, you know, DC Comics guy. Um, but I've never read a single you know, Blue Beetle issue. Not, I, I'm sure they exist. Um, but Blue Beetle as a character has been a participant in some... Uh, in some comic events on the DC side that I've read, but rarely has he been a featured character. So I'm really fascinated to see why on earth this movie exists. I'm keeping an open mind. I'm saying it could be good, could be worthwhile. And the trailer did enough to make me go, okay, I would go see that. What about you, Riles? It it looks like it's genuinely a good time. Mm-hmm. Like I'm I'm going in there. I'm like, oh, this looks like it's gonna be a fun summer movie mm-hmm. where I can just go in for two hours and just have a blast. Um, it felt very Shia LaBeouf in the first Transformers movie, and it was a fantastic movie. Okay, <laughs> not a criticism. <laughs> but the first thing I have to say, George Lopez's beard in this good is for you, George. Phenomenal. Good for you. Phenomenal. Um. But I'm really excited. I don't know what the villains are going to look like. Yeah. I hope we see Ted Cord. Mm-hmm. I like Jaime a lot, but I've seen Jaime in some shows where I'm like, well, oh, dude, we, Jaime's have, a baller. Right. And we have to establish, like, for our listeners who, like us, aren't going to know a lot about Blue Beetle. I mean, you know some good Blue Beetle Riles. So Ted Cord is the original DC second. Blue Beetle. He's really? the second, second one. There's one oh, before Edgy him. Baby. Who's um, one before him? I will Google it, but there's one before him. Okay, and then so it's... Ted Cord is the Blue Beetle that I know. Ted Cord is the second Blue yep, Beetle, yes. You're saying second Blue Beetle. And so the third Blue Beetle, who is the primary character in this movie, the trailer of which we're discussing right now, is Jaime Garcia. Is that right? Jaime Reyes. Jaime Reyes. Mm-hmm. <sighs> White people. Dang it. Jaime Reyes, not Garcia. Shame on me. Uh and again, that's that's about the extent of what I know other than the Blue Beetle character, the kind of premise, to really hone in on our ability to say that word properly, the premise is that whether it be Ted Cord or Jaime Garcia comes across this scarab that's in the shape of a beetle that latches onto the person and then expands into a full body like battle suit, which is... Wild. So alien tech? Alien magic tech. Better than tech, magic tech. Hello. Powerful stuff. From what I understand. So the first so the first Blue Beetle is maybe one of the whitest names ever oh boy. in comics. Whiter than Ted Cord? Dan Garrett. Yep. <laughs> yep. Dan Garrett was the first Blue Beetle. I have never heard Dan Garrett. He's like old school, old school. Like Golden Age, probably wow. comics, fifties kind of comics. Yes, like well, mid mid nineteen sixties. Okay, Ted Cord, okay. Ted Cord took over in the the mid sixties, mm-hmm. and then okay, and then yes, and then Jaime came in. I don't feel bad about not knowing later. Dan Garrett. I'm really impressed that you knew there was a Blue Beetle before huh? Ted Cord. I've been seeing some things Had on to it be lately. Pulled by you, I know. great job, great job. More than just a hat rack. <laughs> Clearly, there's a lot going on. But in yeah, no, it's uh, Jaime Reyes and Young Justice is phenomenal. Mm. If you haven't seen Young Justice, go watch Young Poor Justice Bioshock. because it's it's very good for the teenage DC characters. Yeah, a very good Nightwing, a very good Kid Flash, yep. aka Wally West. Yeah, which we just get all the love from Wally West in the animated shows. Which is phenomenal. And then, yeah, they introduce Jaime in Season 2. They introduce Static Shock in Season 2. Fascinating. It's really good. I haven't seen any of Season 3 yet, so I can't yeah. I can't vouch for that. But, yes. Yeah. Here, here's really all I feel equipped to say as it pertains to Blue Beetle at this very early juncture, where we are still a solid four months out. So plenty of marketing to come between now and then. I hope, hope that... DC is self-aware enough by that point to give folks a reason to go see the movie other than just the movie being left on an island. Like we talked about on the previous podcast with Shazam, 
Fury of the Gods, where we don't know. Okay, so is, is Blue Beetle like is he gonna be around? Is he, is he part of the the new DCU? We we need to know that. I think it depends on how well this movie we does. Need, and it can't be that. Like that's just not even fair to the character. Because yeah. if that's all that it is, this is it. We're getting a Blue Beetle one off, and it's gonna not make the money that it needs to make because there is no cachet for this character. For anybody to go see it, it has to be a, hey, this character is tying into, is leading into, there has to be greater context. I'll be interested Otherwise, to see. R.I.P. Blue Beetle, Ted Cord, Jaime Garcia, Dan freaking Garrett. Sorry. You mean ha- Reyes. You say Garcia That's again. That's Garcia again? Yeah. White people again. I don't know what's wrong. Dude. <laughs> Jaime, I owe you an apology. <laughs> Mr. Reyes. Doc, got it. Yeah, I'll be interested to see how DC markets this movie. I think they're dumb not to market it. Because I think this movie could do a lot of good. So, but we'll see. Yeah. Hoping, uh, not counting on, but... I, I still think it's funny that George Lopez is in that movie. Yeah. That is not, I mean, it makes sense, but at the same time, I was just... I was like, George Lopez wants to be in a superhero movie? That's kind of... Crazy, and he seems like a Uncle Ben that's going to stay alive. That's that's how I can. That's that's how I can see. Maybe that, that's how they got him in. They're like, listen, we want you in the movie, and we won't kill you. Yeah, you're going to be like this okay. wise sage to the hero with a giant goatee, with a gigantic beard. <laughs> Done. Good for you, George. Okay, speaking. Oh my gosh, you guys made it this far. Huh. Well, if you're here. Hit the subscribe button, it's down there somewhere, and uh, share, and like, and yeah, I don't care, you do what you want, I'm gonna go back to this.